Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. This is The World Away and happy Thursday. Today, we're gonna to be doing the next five stages of the Diagostini Collectibles release. I built the Valentino Rossi M1. I do love a motorcycle build and we're doing five stages today. A lot of it is to do with the engine. Uh, the only parts of the engine we've actually done so far on this is just this uh, top cover here. So uh, it'd be great to build onto that. So I've had to dig that out. Don't think I need anything else uh, that I've got stashed down here. But if you haven't seen any of the other videos in this playlist, I have put a link to the whole playlist up here. Uh, and you can watch that from pack one. And if you do want to get this for yourself, in the video description, I've put the link to the Diagostini Collectibles website. You can get this again, all the way from issue one. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So it's all going to start with stage 22. And once again, I'm just going to give you a quick flick through the magazine to show you the sort of articles you get. Now, each stage comes with its own magazine. And as I said earlier, uh, we are going to be building onto the engine here. Uh, so it's looking just like that. Now, I have to say with these packs, I haven't really mastered about <laughs> trying to figure out what pack is what. There's nothing on here to say this is pack 22. So you're just looking at the parts, uh, which is why it's important to take an inventory of stuff first to make sure that you've got everything you need. And I've just opened up this part of the cylinder block here. We've got some dummy nuts, which are gonna go into these two holes. And there's two on this side as well. Now I'm guessing these are a push in. And I do think to help you on this, you are gonna need tweezers to actually hold this, to position it above the hole where it's going, and then push this in. Just like that and we're going to continue doing that for each side they are quite hard to get in but as you see they will go in probably going to damage your tweezers doing it as well but that's probably the best way to get them in without them pinging all over your uh, workshop or area where you're actually building your model perfect so they're in on each side and that is all there is to do in that stage we do have a gasket here and some screws but we're going to keep that for a later stage. So in stage 23 here, again, just a slow flick through the magazine. As you can see, we're going to do the oil filter and some pipe work. We've got these details here. And this is where I need to bring over this section from the previous stage and the gasket that we had in the last stage, putting these together and then building some of the pipe work here. It's great that every single part of this comes packed, keep everything safe. But I'm gonna open everything up. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this top of the uh, cylinder head cover here and the gasket from the last stage. Now this is gonna be going onto this section here. Now you will see we have got an adhesive pad, so we need to take that off of this pad. If you haven't got nails, that's gonna be a, uh, an issue straight away. Line this up and then push this over the top. Just putting pressure around the outside, not in the middle, because there's nothing holding that in, but that's looking brilliant there. Now we're gonna be piecing these two parts together. So you see we've got these slots on this side. Those slots are gonna be facing to the opposite side of this section of the cylinder here. So that's gonna go on like that. I'm holding those in with these type B screws. These are the ones that came in the last stage. We are going into metal, so I'm actually using my heavy duty screwdriver to put this in as well. From the underside, you can see we've got two holes in there that these screws are gonna go into. I've only put these in lightly at the moment just while I line this up. And then I can make it as tight as I can get it. So there you go, that's now one whole piece. We could put that to one side. I'm gonna make some of these pipes now. Now, in regards to the pipes, that's what we're moving on to next. On this side here, with this little indent, we have got two little nipples coming out the side. On the very furthest one, I'm gonna be putting this pipe here. Now I'm gonna just check how this fits in here. It's quite tight, so I'm not gonna glue that on. If that was loose in there and I couldn't do that, I'd glue that on, because I don't want this falling out later on and me wondering where it comes from. Now we do have these parts here, which are left over, but we're not actually using them in this stage. Mm. 
moves us swiftly onto stage 24. Again, quick flick through the magazine here. And you see the cylinder block and the upper crank crease, which looks just like this. Uh, we're going to be putting all of these parts together. So at the end, it looks just like that. Again, I am taking a wild guess at what pack that is. I believe it's this pack because I've identified uh, this little bit of plastic here, which I'm going to need on this stage. Once again, we do have some B screws here. OK, so taking what we worked on in the last stage and the crankcase we got on this stage with this section that's coming out here, it's just going to go over this section here. So these are just going to piece together lovely like that. So that's going to be screwed in from the other side, just onto this side here and on the other side over there. So once again, a little bit of oil, line these up and get this into position, making sure that's really tight. That's excellent, that's all together. All we're gonna do then is take the base of the cylinder block and having it this way round, it's gonna go over these two points here. So we're just gonna match those two up like that. Once again, held in with B screws. There we go, that's in place. That's what that's looking like. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So that leads us on to stage 25. Again, quick flick through the magazine here. We're gonna be doing the crankcase now, another large piece of metal uh, in this section here. We're adding all of these details together. So again, by the end, it's looking like that. Massive heavy sections these are, really bulky parts as well. So I'm guessing when you get this pack delivered to you, don't be surprised of the weight of it. Because now you've watched this video, if you are doing this, you realise why. So this is actually the base of the cylinder block here, and we're going to be putting these two parts together. Now where we put the base on here, you can see it matches the shape around here, so it can only go in one way. It's going to go in just like that. Now to hold that in, on this side here, just through that hole, we're going to be putting the screw first. Old favour of the B screw. So I've got one loaded up already. And get that in. Again, I have already put this in some oil. That will make that nice and easy to get in. Turn it over, do the same on the other side there. So do you remember this part that we had a couple of stages back? Was it in the last stage? Can't remember. But that's going to go into this part here. Now, if you can see the arc at the bottom, that's going to be towards this little pipe coming out here. So it's going to go into these holes here, this way round. Just lining it up. So that looks just like that there. Now it is saying if it's loose, put super glue on that. But as you can see, mine's pretty solid in there. Next thing I'm going to do, just this section here, is I'm going to be putting the oil filter in, which looks like that. That's got a little notch in it. And as you can see, we've got a notch in there. So this is going to go in just, oh, get it in like this. And you know you've got that in because it should fit perfectly flush all the way around there like that. Now we're going to be putting the pipe distributor in next, which looks like that. That's going next to the oil filter. As you see, we have got some lugs on this side. They're going to go into the three holes that we've got there. So just lining this up again, it shouldn't need glue. It should just push in, no problems at all. Making sure that's nice and flush around each side. Which it is, so that's on. And then finally into the top of that, you see we've got a hole in the top. The end of this pipe's gonna go into that hole just there. And then the other two nipples that we've got on this side, or lugs, are just going into the two holes that we've got at the top. So I'm gonna get this in. like that and when that's in it should look just like that and that's all there is to do in this stage so the last stage here stage 26 again i'm just gonna have a quick flick through show you what we're doing we're actually going to be doing the crankcase and clutch parts some parts just here and we're going to be adding all of these details to the cylinder that we've already created so by the end, it's looking like that. So in here, which was the pack from the last stage, we have got a micro switch here. So we've got some electrics on this bike by the look of it. And we've got housing for that, uh, for that switch. We also have some more B screws. And if I turn the cylinder block upside down, you can see we've got this part 
just there. It's in there that I'm going to be putting the housing for the switch. Now the open side of that housing needs to go towards the wall on this side. So this is going to be going in this way like that. You know I'm going to drop this in, so I think I'm going <laughs> to use my tweezers so I don't lose it into the cylinder there, so that sits in like that. That's going to be held in with a B screw. Do you realise in this whole pack I haven't used my PH0 screwdriver? It's all been PH1 this time. That never happens. <laughs> but there we go. So that housing's now in there. I'm going to be taking the micro switch, and again, I'm going to put this in with my tweezers here now you can see we've got some little metal forks coming out each side they're going to go either side of that case so it's going in this way here i'm just going to drop that in and push that down and there we go that's in nice and flush there turning this over i'm now interested in this side just here i've got the crankshaft end nut to put on that looks just like this that's going into the two holes either side here now this is pretty symmetrical so it doesn't matter which way round we put this and that is quite a tight fit in there like that then we've got the crankshaft end cover just getting that out that came in this stage and looks just like that I've actually got another detail here as well that's going over the top of the section we just put in and you see we've got these little pipes coming out we want the open end here to be over those pipes. So when I put that in, it's gonna look like that. And the last thing I need, we're interested in this section down here. You see these three holes here? We're gonna be putting the clutch slave cylinder into those holes, pushing that in. Make sure it's flush in there. So that's in now like that. And the last thing we've got is the drain plug here. That's just gonna go into this hole here. Now it is shaped, there's a little D shape there. So make sure you put it in the right way. And it should fit perfectly in there, just like that. And that's all there is to do in this stage. That's all there is to do in this pack. So in this whole pack, we have created that. So we're working on the engine. That's one almighty engine, and it's really heavy. Just for size comparison, this is me. And that's what that's looking like. But uh, that was quite enjoyable. I liked that. I like the pipe work as well. Loving the detail on this. Now, once again, if you want to get this for yourself, it's on the Diagostini Collectibles website. We'll put the link for that in the video description but i really hope you liked that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care